Hi, my name is Fatma and I'm talking to you from Newfoundland, Canada. Um, this is going to be a very brief one because uh, I don't have that many things to show. But I wanted to show that I finally finished my twists and turns and I still need to, to block it. And I haven't done that because I wanted to be sure it would be dry for this episode. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it on the with a steamer because I don't know if the steamer will be enough to show. I did a lot of mistakes. Like one side, I had too many stitches at the end. The other side, I noticed uh, that I had very little stitches at the end. So I start making a bunch without reducing, decreasing, and then I finish. But I think at the end it doesn't really show much. And this is what I like about um, Stephen West, is that he makes things very uh, relaxing for you to, to work with. So, so that was pretty cool. Um, I like the show when you wear it in a way that the top comes is shown that's how i intend to wear it because i like when this gets together with this this part of the the shawl the end of the shawl gets together with this lines here and it feels like a continuation i do like it a lot um i decided not to do the yellow thing the the i cords here because I thought it was the, too much yellow and, and I like this because it's it has a pop of color but not too much so I really liked it. Um, sorry. Um, I do like the the effect of the first clue but I hate knitting it. I hate it too much too strong so let's say I didn't have pleasure um, this part I really like also the effect the the curves going but again I didn't like it uh, I didn't enjoy knitting it so the show is very nice um, I had some aha moments with it and that was cool but it was painful I think for me to knead it. I, I didn't have much pleasure in kneading, but I had some aha moments, so that was worth it. So this is the shawl, and, and I wanted to do it to wear with jeans, so the blue would be okay. So this is my finish, first finish object, and I'm going to be all over the place because this is my work in progress. That is the underestimate uh, sweater by Jorge Locatelli and I want to wear this shawl with this sweater right so it's a darker blue it's a different shade of blue and I think it's gonna look nice together and it's a very light so so that's pretty good um, what I'm changing in here is really the count because my my gauge was higher than than what the the pattern looked for. Um, I really like it so far, and I'm definitely going to block this one. Um, I still need to do the two sleeves and the collar, and it will be done. So I'm hoping to finish this project by this year. By New Year's at least so and, and I, I enjoy it very much I like it a lot I didn't think I was into um, um, box sweaters but I like this one very much the other thing I finished is this sleeper so I had made this sleeper long ago and I think when I was doing the bet I put a fiber that I had because I got a lot of leftover fibers but the fiber I had was not uh, wool I think it was a synthetic 
and then what happened is it didn't felt properly the bottom part felt because it had wool but the this part didn't felt so I never finished it because I said okay I didn't like it but I use my sleepers year-round and the one I had in Ontario uh, had holes on it because I work from home so I, I wear them all the time and when I came here I'm, I'm working and I said oh I really would like to have uh, something on my feet if they're cold so I found this in one box and I decided to put just a crochet border and now my feet are happy again um, so spinning wise what I did is I decided to ply again it's an almost finished project because I still need to wash so I had uh, spun this everything that I have uh, here way before October like probably August September and the thing is when you are uh, spinning you should not leave your singles in the bobbins for too long because what happens is that the twist that you put there when you're spinning they they become dormant and when you're applying you are not sure how how the things are so for this ones I put a lot of spin on it because when I water it when I wash it what will happen is that the twist that I put when I was spinning the singles is going to come back and that will counter affect the spinning that I put when I was plying so I have spun these yarns as you can see they're twirling around here and I think this is going to be fine because I'm going to to wash it and when I wash it's going to lose some some twist but you can see here that it has a lot of twist and I think I'm okay with that exactly because when I wash the the singles will regain some of the thing uh, some of the twist and this one this is uh, Ashford 80% merino 20% silk that I had spun a long ago and I think I didn't put enough twist there because when I it just has a little turn here that is what you should normally have to wash so it might get more twisted the other side the, the spinning side I'll see better the solution for that is um, if you want if you think that if if the yarn loses too much of the twist all you have to do is pass it through the spinning wheel again and it will gain the twist that you need uh, the other thing is depending on how you you knit I knit Portuguese style and I believe I add twist to the yarn so I think I'll be good I hope I'll be good I really love the collar it's very soft like this one is rustic very rustic so I'm going to make a sweater but I'm going to make it um, I still have to spin more um, but I will make it uh, to wear on top of other stuff right and this one is a soft one I could even do a skin one so I have uh, the two skeins I had one pound of it so it's around 400 and something grams and and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet I know that for example for this card for this card uh, sweater I'm going to use less than 500 grams and for the um, nor normal something from Mary Allen that I, I did I used 360 grams so it would be okay to do a sweater for me or something for somebody else so I don't know yet the the thing that I'm going to use so also I think in July I spun this this is uh, merino together with um, merino superwash because I don't like superwash 
So what I, and I bought it, I didn't know. I didn't pay attention. It's not that I didn't know. I didn't pay attention to the label. I just got excited and, and that, that's what happens to me. And I, so I blended it with Merino that was not super washed because then I prefer to spin. And, and then I had spun a little bit of, um, of silk too. And so I did a test yesterday to see because I wanted to, to do them together. And the reason I wanted to do them together is that um, I wanted to use this for a shawl. So I wanted the drapiness that the silk normally gives. But the problem that I had is it's too thin. So when I was doing uh, the three ply, two of this and one of the silk, it was giving me too thin. So instead I did a nine ply, <laughs> so good. And the nine ply is, and I, I did um, a Navajo ply or a cable ply. And normally it puts a lot of twist on the, on the yarn when you do, when I do. Navajo ply but it's too thick and too dense the yarn because it's really nine ply I got the the three singles and I did Navajo and Navajo always multiplies by three right I like the color I'm thinking that the best uh, I'm gonna try again I'll spin more silk because I have a lot of this silk so but I think I would do a, a four ply doing a Navajo ply or four ply using one, one silk and three of the other to get something lighter than this. I will just see really how it is once I wash it, but I didn't have time to wash it. Um, so, oh, and the last thing I did is I spin this. I think I put too much on my bobbin because the bobbin even came out as after I took it. And I want to play with this yarn. This yarn is, I don't know the ship that I use for this. So I'm going just to have some fun. I did a three ply. It's a very thin three ply. So I believe I can use it for socks or I can use it together with something else. I want to dye it, um, so I'm not going to use my regular knit knotty that gives me gives me a skein this big. I want it to be a way bigger skein than this, so that I can have more fun making a, a variegated yarn with that. And I still have a little bit left over to to spin and what I did is because my plan was to do a three ply but with the fiber that I had I got four bobbins so I did Navajo ply for this one too and then I have a three ply because I, I got each one and I, I did a three ply the beginning looks a little bit uh, not spin well spun but the rest is okay anything I just pass it through again the bobbin if I need to so so um, spin wise that's what I did I'm I want to finish plying uh, some more stuff that I still have on the bobbins that I spun long ago and Last is, I, I bought some books, but they didn't arrive yet. Um, but I have a friend, and um, this friend of mine, we, we did the first and the second year of spinning course together. And um, after that, she, she had to stop. That was 2007, 2008. And then we didn't see each other again. And then right before we were to move, I learned that she was leaving maybe 10 minutes from my place. And we were together for this past month that we were together. And, and she got some of my, my fiber for rugs that uh, I had to leave behind because I didn't have space. 
and then she was so nice and she sent me this alpaca so she sent me a box of alpaca because she used to have alpaca so she sent me four bags of alpaca white already carded and I was so happy when I saw it I said oh my gosh so I still have it. oh here it is it's beautiful it's very nice and then she also sent me a dark brown alpaca that looks pretty much like a, a black and I'm going to use these two together to make a shawl, probably. So this is pretty, pretty cool. And so I have one, two, three, four of those. And she also sent me some yarn some yarn, spun yarn so this is pretty good it's a hundred percent alpaca so I can make something with that and I have some more spun yarn alpaca spun yarn that I can put it together in browns she sent me this nice cough scrub soap peppermint lemongrass cedar wood with essential oils it's very nice that Yeah, it smells really good. She didn't need to send me this, but I'm so glad she did. And we got a card. And this card is, the picture is from the alpaca she had. So that was pretty nice. Thank you, Ausma. I'm very grateful. Thank you. So this is pretty much it for, for today's episode. I just want to give you an update on our dogs. Um, Goldie had a, a thing last week, or two, thurs, two Tuesdays ago, that she lost her balance, um, and the vet said we had to take her to the emergency. And the vet said that what happened to her was something that happens to older dogs when they get ear infection, and cockers normally have ear infections they they have a, a kind of vertigo so she totally lost her balance we took her to the emergency they gave her uh, a med to um, to stop for drowsiness and uh, then some anti antibiotics anti-inflammatories not antibiotics and she's better she's still not a hundred percent but She's now able to jump on that sofa, jump off, not very steady. Um, this house has a stairs, what <laughs> we didn't, was not in our plans, but uh, so we are carrying them down. And then she had her problem on a Tuesday. On a Wednesday night, Lucky had a problem and he was in pain. We took him to the emergency again. And uh, what is happening is I think he, he had he didn't break a ligament uh, thank God but because he's old he's losing the the response to the leg n muscles and um, so he was in pain for a while and now he's on on meds to to work because he's he's taking some a sort of a Tylenol for dogs now but the the problem is that he took some anti-inflammatories too, and those both gave diarrhea to the dogs, to Goldie and Lucky. So now they are on medication to help with the diarrhea. He's much better today, um, but they are old. So they are 13, in, in October they turned 13. So it is what it is. And Momo is a little bit younger uh, he's going to be 12 soon but he always had problems so we had to take him to the vet too because you know we were not going to take just two of them so we took him to 
and because he had allergies and he was itching a lot so now he's better we have to be careful because he has kidney problems he's a, with kidney diet so we need it's hard but we are enjoying them as much as we can because we love them um, out of that Mihai started to work on the house because we love the place we are very very happy but the place needs a lot of renovations so he's working with the structure of the house now he started it and we are going it slow so that he doesn't get too stressed um, and we are happy when we look outside I'm looking outside now we have a very angry ocean and it feels like we are on a boat just looking at the waves but without getting dizzy so it's good I wanted to make this podcast today because I wanted to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a great 2023 so I'll see you then thank you for watching and I'm grateful that you are right there. Bye-bye.